guys, I hope you liked that intro. Welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 17 editing tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the Star Wars lightsaber effect inside of the Fusion tab. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Also, if you want to see some awesome behind the scenes content of projects that I'm working on, you can also follow my social media accounts. Links will be in the description below. Now, the lightsaber effect is one of my first visual effects that I learned quite a few years ago inside of After Effects. And you can actually recreate this inside of DaVinci Resolve inside the free version. So if you don't have the studio version, you can also follow along in this tutorial. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and let's start editing. Okay, so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve 17 and here's my clip that I worked on a little bit earlier and as you can see we've got the lightsaber effect so I've already imported my clip so I was using this clip here up against the green screen we've got our actor swinging the lightsaber now I recommend when you're shooting to use a lightsaber that emits light so it can interact with lighting uh, surrounding you uh, but for this video I'm just using green screen footage so I recommend if you're in the same situation as I am and you're you've got someone swinging a lightsaber in front of a green screen I would recommend doing the lightsaber part first and then keying out the green just because you might lose detail in the lightsaber when it is swinging around with the motion blur so that's why I recommend doing the um, doing the lightsaber part first a couple of months ago now where um, I show you how to key out green so if you want to check that out you can click over here this tutorial we're just focusing on the lightsaber effect so all we need to do to start the lightsaber effect is we're just going to switch out to the fusion tab and we're going to open this clip up inside of fusion okay so we've got our clip inside of fusion so let's just play this back all right so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a uh, merge so we can go over to this icon over here and we'll click that and that will create our merge node. The next thing we want to do is we want to add our background. This is going to be the core of our lightsaber. So I'm just going to click over on this icon here, click and drag it in. And then what I'm going to do is to create the lightsaber and start animating it. We can go over to our polygon tool and we're just going to click and drag that. And we're going to connect the polygon tool into our blue arrow. This is our mask. And I'm just going to select the background and I'm going to change the background from black to white. And I'm going to click OK and now it's white. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a quick mask. I'm going to make sure we're at the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to zoom in by hitting control and using the scroll wheel. And I'm just going to create two points on either end. Okay, and then I'm just going to select one. So now we've got our mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and shift space and I'm going to create a glow. Double click that. And then I'm just going to put this on our green layer, which is our foreground. And I'm just going to create some space. So I'm just going to go up over here and I'm going to add a couple other nodes now. A lot of people just use the glow node and, you know, change the brightness. And you can see that it's making a difference here. There's a little bit of a glow happening right here. And I'm going to change the HV spread. Can't really see anything because it's white and we want to change it to something that's like red, for example. Of course, you can change the colors later on if you want to. Um, so let's just change spread I'm going to bring the spread down a fair bit and I'm going to change the HV ratio to about there I'm going to leave the brightness up and I'm going to bring the opacity up so now you can kind of see what our lightsaber is going to look like so a lot of people like to just use this lightsaber like it is I like to add a little bit more into the node tree so I'm just going to add a couple more nodes so I'm going to do shift space from background and I'm going to do a Gaussian Blur. I think that's how you pronounce it. Gaussian Blur and then right underneath it, I'm going to go Shift Space and I'm going to add a Color Corrector. 
CC. All right, so I've added these in. So when I go to Gaussian Blur, I'm going to go over to Color first. So I want the color to match the lightsaber color from the glow. So I chose red for this example, just so you can see it a bit better against the green screen. So I'm just going to change that to red. And then I'm going to adjust the Gaussian Blur and I'm going to bring it down quite a bit. We don't want it to be too intense. We just wanted to give it that bit of a feather around the glowing core, just so it's not too solid. So I'm going to go to color corrector and I'm going to also adjust the saturation as well. I don't want it to be too saturated. And as you can see, there's a bit of a blur around the edges just so it helps blend in the glow. So let's just bring that back up. So you can see it's making a little bit of a difference. I'm happy with that. I might even adjust the blur a bit more. So you can see with the blow, it's also adjusting the glow. So this is basically what it looks like without the Gaussian blur. And then when you just add in a little bit, you can see it's starting to give the edges a bit of like a feather sort of glowing core look. And then I'm fairly happy with that. Um, so we can start animating the lightsaber. So I'm going to go back to polygon. I'm actually going to just so I'm not distracted by the glowing lightsaber. I'm just going to take the background off just so you can't really see um, all the effects that we've added. And I'm just going to select polygon. And now I'm just going to make adjustments. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to make this mask fit better into the lightsaber. So now we've got this. So now by default, every time you go frame by frame, this is actually animating the mask. You don't have to create any keyframes because by default, the polygon is going to create the keyframes for you. So I'm just going to go over to the next frame. You can use the arrow key or you can just click over here and then go to the next frame. And then I'm just going to select these two and I'm just going to click and drag. And then, of course, if you want to preview um, what you've done, you can just go back and you can see that the mask has tracked on by going frame by frame by default. So if you want to have a look at roughly what your lightsaber will look like, you can just go to your background and then just bring it into your Gaussian Blur and now you can see a preview of what your lightsaber will look like. Um, I'm just going to take this off and I'm going to continue my keyframing until I've finished. So now you can see that we've got our lightsaber following it. So now we can bring this back into our Gaussian Blur. So now we can see our final look. And that's actually looking pretty good. I'm going to do a quick green screen key just so you can see the lightsaber blade better because I'm going to be changing the colors so now um, we can see the lightsaber much more clearer. Let's just go into the settings and let's just play around with it some more. So right now we've got red. And when we play that back, it's looking fairly good. Um, so I'm going to change the color and there's two nodes you need to go to to change the color for this. So there's the glow and then there's the color corrector just above it. So let's just change this to green. Let's bring that up. And then let's go to color corrector and then let's just bring this back up to green. Then now we've got a really nice, bright, vibrant colored lightsaber glow. And then we can go to glow and we can adjust things even more. If you don't want it to be too intense, we can bring the spread um, HV ratio. I like to have the HV ratio just below the halfway default mark just so I can see it glow a little bit better. And then we can adjust the shine threshold so we can make it even more shinier if we want to. <laughs> um, we can also adjust the opacity so if you don't want it to be too bright around the edges and all of that sort of stuff. So what I really like about creating this inside of Fusion is you're able to take the glow off and you can focus on just the rotoscoping um, if you want, so when we select the polygon tool, you can see where we need to animate it. Um, I've added a transform node, that's why it's looking like that. But um, once we pipe this back into our Gaussian Blur, now we can see what the effect is doing. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Also, if you guys use this tutorial for your own lightsaber effects, follow my social media accounts and send me some of the clips that you've worked with 
I would love to have a look at it. And yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.